dear students good morning i hope that you all are fine and i thought that um, i should be making a video for you so that uh, so that you get this opportunity to have the flavor of an online class i mean <laughs> the classroom situation so we have already discussed that uh, the first chapter that time i was not able to make the videos but here i'm going to do the second chapter which is there in your portion that is ut1 i believe i've given you the portion right so here i'm going to talk about nouns and i will be sending you the pdf file of the book first page so that you will find it easy for you to um, study right so now see look at this defining a noun a noun is the name of a person animal place or thing it can name materials it can name an idea an emotion a quality mm, a state etc so you can divide noun into four categories but some books also write noun as divided uh, in five categories proper common collective abstract and some books write material noun also like uh, wood gold silver iron etc now we come to the definition noun is the name of anything that will be very very short in very short noun is the name of anything for example here proper noun uh, you have named the persons common noun country city river person etc then collective noun it is the name of the class like uh, a class or group like class army crew fleet etc and on the other hand abstract noun it is the name of the uh, ideas or emotion right kindness pride beauty pain etc etc so all these things are different kinds of names so you have to know these things now we will discuss on the line of this syllabus proper common collective and abstract noun you can also study material noun as i told you just now now countable and uncountable noun what is countable noun countable noun means the noun that can be counted that is you can count the noun for example 1 2 3 4 like that you can count like nouns like country city river person class army can be counted so they are called countable nouns or count nouns generally speaking most of the common and collective nouns are countable right see uh, a pencil you can count it right a pen you can count it right a book you can count it so these are all countable nouns you know and make sure to understand this that every countable common noun should always take a and the etc in general right so countable now we come to the proper nouns like india kapil kanpur name of particular person or thing so there is only one kind of that name or the person or the place etc so we call it proper noun proper means particular noun so if i call somebody uh, kapil there is one kapil all over the world and there is no more kapil so it is a proper noun right then we come to proper noun proper noun uh, like india it is a proper noun asia it is a proper noun mm, then you call america uh, it's a proper noun right so proper noun and some common nouns that name materials like wood milk tea ink glass copper are also uncountable noun these are uncountable noun and on the other hand i i forgot to tell you proper noun is not countable you cannot count uh, proper noun but sometimes proper noun can be used as a common noun then we can say it is a countable noun that is in a special case so so proper noun cannot be counted okay it is not a countable noun like so material noun cannot be counted it cannot be counted okay now we come to abstract noun abstract noun means the noun that names the ideas and emotions right the nouns that names the ideas and emotions for example kindness pride beauty pain 
these are the names and the states and qualities feelings or ideas and these are not countable and you know how can you understand it is an abstract noun you cannot see this you can only feel you cannot see you cannot hear but you can feel it that is why it is called abstract abstract means not concrete right however in certain cases abstract nouns may also have a plural uh, forms this is a special cases like memories pleasures decisions hardships Vac uh, vacancies etc so these are there are some exceptional cases or special cases in english uh, grammar that can be considered okay now soap is an uncountable noun but we can have cakes of soap hmm? then it becomes countable soap is a soap is an uncountable noun but cakes of soap paper is an uncountable noun but you can say we have sheets of paper piece of paper or pieces of papers right so uh, this can become countable in a special use right wheat rice money these are all uncountable nouns it's very strange you know money is not countable you cannot say i have many i mean mm, you cannot say monies right so that is why it is uncountable but grain and rupee are countable so rupee is countable you use r u p w -E s rupees but you cannot use monies m o n e y s or something like that so here and then some words can be used both as a countable and an uncountable noun like ah uh, like these houses are made of stone no stone is uncountable now the ch the child threw a stone here stone becomes a piece of stone okay a stone here is countable so depending on the sentence and situation sometimes the noun can be called a plural noun or singular noun countable or uncountable so a countable noun has a plural form an uncountable noun does not have plural forms right for example we can think of dogs and trees and mountains and classes and armies but we cannot think of kindnesses prides right so this is how we can make the differences right now <clears throat> just look at this uh, this jug is made of glass now glass is uncountable okay made of made of glass i have taken three glasses of milk now here this glasses look at this picture three glasses of milk means here the glass is countable so countable may be used uh, with uh, such word as a one two few a few many etc a pen one student etc you can use uh, numbers like this or indefinite uh, pronouns or countable just to express the countable nouns right uncountable nouns cannot be used with these words we cannot say a milk or wit a few kindness you cannot say this so this is how we can make the difference difference between countable and uncountable noun okay so we will stop it here today's lesson is over now here i hope that you enjoyed this lesson i will see you in the next video till then goodbye have a good